Hello gamers, Bat here. Welcome back to another episode of Vintage Story. I've been trying to let some a little bit of time pass, not too much. Let's say hello to Crazy Legs. What's up, buddy? I'm down. You want to come say hi? Yeah, yeah, you do. Let's take a nap. I've been doing some panning throughout this day, the 13th of August, and this is all the goody things that I did get from there. 63 flax, which is fantastic. We can probably get our windmill up today as well. I did also store in the non-stackables up into here. We got like five books here, three of the same bronze bracers and two temporal gears, and we have cultured tavern. So that's pretty cool. I am just going to just leave this here. Um, I would love to see what we can do let's grab everything let's just grab everything that we have um, I want to get this windmill up and going so that we can I don't need to break those down now uh, get these plates going so that we can get our upgraded backpacks that is what I am uh, really looking forward to so let's get the flax converted first all of it yeah all of it let's do it all and then in here, I just need a total of eight. Oh, we don't have enough. It's alright. I'm breaking one of these down then. Alright, there we go. So this should get us the cells that we need. And it give us this direction, right? It was. So let's grab those four and these and then I think that's everything that we need. I'm going to leave these sticks in here. Let's get this flax back on the ground. Um, I'll do inventory management here in a minute. I, I, I made an elm door. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan at all. But I did move the uh, move things into here, so we've got all of our molds here. We've got all of our chests plus extra. So we've got the copper, the tin, the iron in these chests, and then just stellarite and lead or whatever else is going on in there. Um, in here is just the extra molds that were on the ground um, in the other room, so I just took those out. I went and gathered a bunch of peat, and I was also running very low on blue clay, and I did go and get some blue clay as well. So we do have that. Uh, fire clay is still kind of an issue, but we're not working with it right now. And what else do I have? That was on me that I took off from our ruin. But let's get uh, let's get that hammer up. I need to hear that clang. Uh, no additions going on over here. Um, it is the way it was when I left you. But let's go up here and finally get six of these cells on here. You guys ready for this? Oh yes. It's only 4% tonight. We have light air. But as soon as we do, we have a little bit of speed to get us going. Um, so hopefully um, we'll be able to see that and I can get these plates made up really quick. If not, I'll work through the night and... Um, make sure that these plates are up and going so without further ado you hear it oh yes there we go that's beautiful it's slow but it is going to do the job and in here one each oh, I don't need that pan anymore do you have these torches over here Alright, whether I use the help hammer to help me make these plates, or if I make them myself, I will see you guys when we have plates.
Alright guys, we have all the plates that we need, and that dude is hungry, let's put this away, where did I get you, you're from there, alright, no grass, let's get that toggle made and upgrade these backpacks. Remember everything that we need for them. A knife in our hammer. Let's get let's get our hammer back. Let's do a little inventory here. All of that can just go. And each one of these will get upgraded. There we go. Bronze reinforced backpack. So we're going from six to eight. There we go. And we are one leather short. Let's go see if we have any of this leather done. I'm gonna doubt it. Sorry, it's dark, guys. They are almost, almost done. So, we will just uh, wait on that for our last backpack, but we will have the, um, the plates to do it. So... Let's get these tossed in here so I don't have to keep carrying this thing. Helps if you click the right buttons, right? And those need to swap. Alright, those should be cool. Awesome. So we're just one leather short. That is unfortunate. But let's put two of those in there because we still also want to make this pulverizer toggle. So let's grab a chisel, a log. Oh, we gotta do this first. Man. Alright, we're going to be all over the place, apparently. I don't want to use one of these just for this, but I'm, I'm going to, just to be done. That can go there, and bam. This should be able to go right here. And then once we get our axles a little bit more, we will uh, make sure we can get this going. And we also have a wrench here as well. Let's get, get our stuff back first before we walk off. That can all stay. Perfect. Alright. These can all come down to here. Alright. Sweet. Let's take a little snooze. What did I have? Oh, there's where my scythe is. I was looking for that earlier. Of course. I 
Alright, let's also get rid of this as well. So I went through all of the gravel that we gravel, the bony soil that we had. And um, that's how I got all of the stuff that we do have. Sweet. Let's take a snooze. Let's uh, grab some food. I'm going to have to move that anvil off of there so we're not hearing the cling clang all the time. Looks like our tools are, you know, busted up. Alright guys, that was a good haul of the uh, charcoal that we do have. There we go. That should get us going for a while. Alright, so I've got some dirt and some seeds. Um, just to bring with me, the seeds need to go over here anyways. So, um, what I did want to do is get some of this terra preta down. Let's just go inside. Uh, I do need to harvest these soybeans as well. Those will be done in about a week. Let's just grab it all. You never know how much we're going to actually use. And then we just need to rip all this old out. Right.
Alright, welcome back. I heard our little trader dude. So I kind of want to go and check up on him and see what he's got for us. Um, yes, I can go through here. Almost lost my brain there for a second. And I did make a hole. I don't know if we're going to keep it, but that goes into the library. We got a survival goods this time. Um, I mean, Haylight is probably the only thing worth it right now. For now. Alright. Flax bronze stuff is pretty cool, but it takes all the gold. You got food? You got food. Let's check over here. There is food. Let me close this. Alright, buddy, we will see you later. Or we won't. Oh, hello. Did I miss somebody here? I might have. Um, why I say maybe this might stay here is, um, this library here, I kind of would love some high ceilings. Well, we can't go up, but we can go down. So what would be pretty cool is if we were actually center here. I mean, it doesn't have to be. Um, and do some staircases down into a library system with tall bookcases shelves. I think that would be pretty cool. Let's go put these goodies back away and talk about what's happening next. Alright, and salt, I think I'm storing over here. I am. Oh, so we do have quite a bit for a while. I won't have to buy salt for quite a while and hopefully we will find a uh, a halite a halite source. Um also let me get some of this going. 1.4 days. We could do that. Can I add that? Maybe in a, a meat spot. I don't have anything else right now, so I'm just going to do that. As you see, I went for Pete. <laughs> we got some in the blacksmith area, and we've got some in here for, you know, both tasks. I did uh, hang up a little bit of paintings. I took them all off that wall that was looking a little cluttered, so hang hung up a couple of them. Look at the stack of these freaking bones we're collecting, man. It's crazy. Made a little uh, seating area right here. That pot is donezo. All right. So, what I want to do over here now is I want to push this back to where it lines up with this and then I think because of measuring I'll show you here I want water and then I want my three plots like I have over there water three plots water three plots but this last one ends where I should have water so I'm going to extend this fence out just by one and we're gonna push that back so I am going to time lapse this one so you guys don't have to see it in slow motion. And I will catch you guys in a jiffy.
Alright guys, that's probably about it that we're going to be able to do. At least for this area here. Um, I'm just going to leave it as is until we get some more Terra Preta. Um, but what I want to start doing is getting some of these herbs going. Because um, these are our healing item ones. Um, and you can only plant these, I think you can plant these on tilled, right? It doesn't say anything. Oh, these ones have to be. That's right, that's right. I've seen a log over here. I think I got it. I sure did. Um, does not have to be. So let's just add them over here with the rest for now. And we want every kind that we can. And then we'll increase what we have going on. And this is Enola over here, right? So we got a Lavender, Enola, Marigold, Marshmallow, and Yarrow. And those are all the ones that we can make the uh, really good poultices. So. And I think we got enough Yarrow. So I'm not going to plant all of it yet until we have a uh, permanent spot. Um, but what I would like to do is make sure these are separate from everything else. So these are healing ones. And then I just want to make sure these go in here. I'll just put them in the last. These are for the regular ones. Yeah. Those are different. Okay. Alright. And then... We're upgrading today. Everything's just going to get updated a little bit. So um, I would also like to get our drifter pit upgraded as well. I seen a really cool concept today, your yesterday. And uh, I'm not using any of his design, but. There is a thing I didn't know that we could do. And we're going to go find out if we can or not. So what I need... Hold on one sec. Alright guys, we are almost here. Wasn't too bad of a travel. Alright, this is not what we're here for. Oh, corn flour, I gotta take it. Yep, mm-hmm. Alright. Some fire clay here too. We are here for this. And there's a bear. Yeah, you just chase them out, out, out there. Get going. Go on, get. Yeah. Stay out there. I want to see if we can collect these hot um gravel. And we're going to use them in the bottom of our pit. So, here goes nothing. Oh no, it just turns into the sludge. That sucks. Is it still hot? Well, I was able to grab that. Why did that one turn? Yeah, it's just this uh, sludgy gravel. Alright, dang. I was hoping that we could take these hot blocks and put them at the bottom of our pit and let them just die. But I also seen that you can pick up hot water, right? Yeah, we got hot water. 
So we're going to use that in our little water streams. Ah, that's a shame. I was really hoping that we could take these really hot blocks. I wonder if those will go back to being hot. I'm not sure. But we do have ourselves some hot water that we can utilize. And I want to make sure to put some of this back. We might come back for some of this sludgy stuff. It is pretty cool. Um, it's a nice dirt texture. But I will see you guys back at home. See you in a minute. Alright, good morning guys. Welcome back and woke up to a light temporal storm. So we've got seven minutes to get this complete now. And let's hope that we can. So let's go to our little drifter pit and see if we can duplicate hot water. Alright, so we've got to block off all this water and redo. Alright, something died there. And... Not sure why that one is going so far. There we go. Because the rest of it can... Wow, that's a lot of terra credit particles. Um, the rest of it can be... Why is this so far out? Did I mess up or something? Probably. Let's hope it doesn't mix or anything like that. Let's make sure we take those out. Alright. And they should take damage on the way down. From hot water. And I don't know if you guys have watched the... YouTube video, The Boiler Room, from Solston, S-O-L-S-T-I-N. If not, you should go check him out, because it's um, actually pretty cool how he uses the uh, hot water here. And uh, we're going to do it here a little bit different. Um, let me make a water source here, just in case. I don't, I'm not sure how this hot water thing is going to work. And are you hot water? You are. Oh yeah, you can see the steam on that baby. Alright. Something's not right right here. Oh no, no, get out of that. Get, get, get out of that. Alright, so we might have to do something like this. See if that'll fix it at the end. It did not. No, 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 get, 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 get out. Get out, get out. <laughs> what if we do this and force it? Let's make it go first. What is it doing? Alright, let's at least get, get these going at least. The left side really just doesn't want to work, does it? I think that's why I had it like that. Yep, alright. So let's do... I really want to fix this. Come on, just just fill in the gap here. You know you want to. 
There we go. Sweet. Almost perfect. Alright, look at the hot. We've made our own hot springs. Our uh, little uh, map thing, we got ourselves a little cross. <laughs> uh. Alright, so those blocks are going to have to despawn now, because um, I'm not going in there. And we've got ourselves a uh, bucket of hot water. Let's put a gap in that. And then hopefully in the winter time, it won't, uh, it won't freeze over. So that'll be pretty cool. But we've got about five minutes? Is that real-time minutes? I think that's real-time minutes. No. We just got a really slow clock. Something about that is just not working right. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Let me check this thing out. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That's why we had to come out to here. Um, so we could go one more out if we wanted to. Okay. I'm gonna block that back off and get the uh, water flowing correctly. more slabs they can get out right there and we want one two three four five six we want that to be right there thank you cooperating oh it went even further that's fine. Oh, I'm really scared of this. Ruining my water. I wonder if it mixes and makes it warm or not. Should we find out? Nope, still hurts. Yeah. Alright, let's go get some slabs to put over these because if they stand right here, they can, um,. Just stay there, um, and they won't come down. And I wish we could um, get this center to be um, where it doesn't reach the end here. It actually um, ended where there is like more of a, a harder flow. Because see how these blocks aren't going down. We want those blocks to go down. Um, which would in turn um, flood our basement. Which I think I can maybe put a trap door on the ends. And the water won't flow down a trap door if it's open. I don't think I've ever tried that. Whatever that was kind of like scared me for a second. grab some slabs. We need 12. And I don't think I have any. I don't. And I think we used... What did we use over there? Andesite? Oh wait, I have some in here. Oh, I need um, a tool, I think, to even get those blocks out. So let's go with... Um, yeah, none of that. 
Alright. Let's see what slabs that we do have. Oh wait, I think I've seen some. No, those are blue, clay, brown. Let's just use claystone for now. I think that's how you do it, or they go under. There you go. So we need 12 of these. We've got, we've got plenty of time. Yeah, I uh, my time is really long. I set it for a long time so that I had uh, a lot of time to do stuff. And in turn, it's made these slower because they don't go off of days. They go off months, I think, now. Um, and I said earlier that I was going to change the crop growth rate, which I started to look it up and then I thought about it. And I think, I think we're okay. Like, it's just been this first harvest we've been really, really wanting. And uh, after that, I think it'll balance itself out. I don't want to be having so much food, so I don't want things to grow so fast. And so we're just going to leave it as is and deal with the repercussions. We have a lot of mods on here making life easier, quality of life, and you know, we can have one thing that kind of hinders us a little bit, so oh, and I can't wait to get all of this filled in with um, pathing so that uh, we can come out here and easily take care of them. Oh, that's really ugly. Oh, I don't need 12. That's right. Right. So, we have four minutes. I might go grab my chisel. And I will see you guys back here. Those blocks need to disappear. Bad out. Alright, guys. I didn't need to make that trip at all. I uh, actually had it right here this whole time, so and block ourselves in, and then what I'm gonna do? Show you guys what I usually do, and so they die right here, and we always have to jump up to harvest them. And what I usually do is I chisel these blocks. Good enough and then right here what I usually do is make a hole here but I usually use glass actually let's put that one back and I think we can actually go one more layer Alright, and then we can just come right here and harvest and do it from this side and that side as well. And then you can just come in here and just etch these out a little bit more so you can get around that corner. And you can even go as far as getting rid of these. Now there is a certain amount, and I don't remember how much to chisel out of this, but if you chisel out a perfect amount here, you can still harvest, and they won't try and throw rocks at you and damage the uh, other drifters and kind of take your kill. What is going up unknown? What is that? Huh. Can I pick it up? No, I can't. Let me try and break this. It looks like the... Oh, okay. There we go. But now we're out of a stone. Let me go... 
Here. I'm gonna grab a stone right here. Block that one. And block that one. And I don't want this. See ya. Alright guys, I am going to wait out here until the storm comes and then we'll uh, check back with you in a moment. Bat out. Alright guys, we are back and I had enough time to chisel up a little bit and go over and make some food as well. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I made a little bat symbol there. It's better this way. This way. Yeah. Just messing around. But we are here waiting for these guys to hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And you should be able to kill from here too. Yeah. But here we go. And I will see you guys at the end of the storm. They are dying before they even get to me, so we need that water to really push these guys next time. So what we'll do is we'll probably just like take out this here and let it just flow, and we will try a trap door. Um, that's a shame, because I'm going to have to pillar up right here to harvest these guys. So, but I will see you guys at the end of the storm.
Oof. Alright, well, we got a death in our pit. Better it was a uh, double-headed drifter that killed us than anything else, right? Like a fox. Because that's never happened. Alright, we just got a regular one running off. I'm not worried about him. Uh, we did get pretty good loot, though, I do have to say. I hope that wasn't too disorienting with me running around so fast and um, time-lapsing that. I'll try to uh, make sure to time-lapse it pretty slow. Um, that way it's not too bad. Uh, there we go. Another rift. Dunzo. Alright guys, with that, I appreciate you guys, so thank you for stopping in. Don't forget to like and subscribe today and in the future, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye! That here again, before I completely go, um, I wanted to go over the loot that we got. So we got 5 total gears. 10 rusty gears and 17 flax so that's that's actually really good and we'll see about in the future of changing up the drifter pit to accommodate the way that we are making it and we will go from there so thanks again and bat out